Hello, my name is Dr. Nadine Ventis, and I'm the Director of Executive Education at the Lee Business School. Thank you so much for joining us today to learn more about the Executive MBA program at UNLV. This is the application process starting in June of 2024. So again, thank you for joining us today. At today's session, I will give you an overview of the program curriculum, going over the co-curricular options available through the program, and going over the application process. Just to let you know some background about the Lee Business School, the Lee Business School is an AACSB accredited institution. There's only 5% of business schools in the United States that have this accreditation, and the Lee Business School is one of them. The EMBA program has been at the university for over 20 years. We're currently recruiting our 23rd cohort of students. And just to give you a background about the program itself, is this program is designed for people who want a great overview of business acumen. They learn everything from marketing, strategy, statistics, entrepreneurship, management, all of that is included in our program. A key factor in our program that people should be aware of is a lot of our students come from many different sectors. They come from healthcare, hospitality, banking, but for some and many, this is the first time they've actually taken a formalized business class. So don't be concerned or have fear that you've never taken a business class before. Our students have years of experience but are now in the business realm and now are using our program to, to, to formalize their education. So upon graduation from our program, you'll have a deeper understanding of business functions. You'll be able to analyze complex situations and make dis difficult decisions. And of course, it will increase your confidence. Also, just based on data, 14.1% have an increase in pay after graduation from our program as well. But the main reason you do this program is not just for the pay increase and for the knowledge, it's also for networking. We have over 350 alums all over the world in our Executive MBA program. And we're considered something called cradle to grave. What does that mean? In our EMBA program, we're very proud to say that we are the recruiters of our students, we are the advisors when you're in the program, and we also do graduation and alumni development. So you will not be passed around from person to person. We are your EMBA family from the beginning to the end. And even upon graduation, if there's any questions or resources we can provide for you, you know where your home is. So just a difference about what difference between executive MBA and MBA. For example, a key difference in our program is we're a cohort-based model. What does that mean? Our cohort size is typically 22 students, and you go through the program 18 months all together. So from beginning to end, you'll have the same colleagues with you going through the same experiences until the end of the program, which is different than traditional MBA programs are usually about 70 to 80 students, while we are cohort based in only 22 to 25 students. We're also a bit more accelerated. MBA programs are traditionally 24 months. We are an 18 month program, and we're also in a weekend format. What does that mean? That means you have classes Friday to Saturday every other weekend. So from 8.30 to 5.30, Fridays and Saturdays, every other weekend for 18 months, you'll be completing your executive MBA program. We also provide a concierge-like experience for you because when you're in the classroom, we want you to focus on your coursework. So what that means is when you come to class, we'll be feeding you breakfast, feeding you lunch, but also that includes having all your textbooks provided for you, registration, assistance with financial aid, that's all provided for you in our executive MBA program through this concierge-like service. And also a global perspective. We feel in order to be a truly global individual in this business world, you need to have a global perspective. So in addition to, take, of course, taking an international business course, you will also do an international trip. As part of this program, your capstone project is an international capstone. You will go to two different countries within the same week and study business there. In addition to just going to visiting different countries and different business models in those countries, you also do a consulting project. You'll work with the CEO of a company and help them with whatever plan they have decided that we want you to do. So we want you to apply what you've learned in your business degree into the EMBA program and applying that to a real world business globally. Again, this is an 18 month degree program and we're a Friday, Saturday model. So a total of 74 days in this program plus the 10 days of international seminar. As you will see on this slide, these are the exact dates that you will have in your program. We understand that students are very busy professionals, so the dates we give you when you're applying for the program are the same dates that you will have throughout the duration. There are no changes, there's not going to be anything sudden that says all of a sudden you have to be class on a different day. We understand the busy nature of our professionals, so we provide a calendar that outlines every class date as soon as you are interested in the program, and those are the class dates we abide by until your graduation in December of the following year. And we're a lockstep program, so all of our students take the curriculum, all the classes at the same time. In the EMBA program, we're 43 credits for a total of 20 courses in person. 
You can wear the Friday Saturday model. The only exceptions to this rule are your international seminar course and also your first orientation course, which is a team leadership effectiveness course. That is a five day intensive that you do to build team camaraderie before you start with statistics and accounting in the summer. Again, we're an accelerated program, so we're 18 months versus 24 months. And we have the weekend format Friday, Saturday, every other weekend to make sure they can still maintain your full time work experience and also for a lot of our students, their full time family obligation as well. This is just a slide provides an overview of all the names of our courses that you'll be taking. So again, you're taking 20 courses and this just gives you a detailed name and description of each of the courses you'll be taking in this program. The EMB program provides a great overview and blend of application as well as research. Your faculty members are both individuals who have run successful businesses and centers as well as people who are from a research one institution and have done extensive research on their topic. We also try to replicate the business environment in each class by doing quite a bit of coursework in group settings. As you know, in business, you're constantly working with individuals and sometimes that trying tribulations of working in a group is something you need to go through because that will be replicated in the work setting as well. We also bring in guest speakers and have live cases that we bring into the classroom. And also we have that global perspective through the international seminar as well. So what happens beyond the classroom? As we said, this is a rigorous program, 18 months, 20 courses at that time. But we also want you to take advantage of what is available outside the classroom as well. So what we try to do in our courses is also integrate site visits. So you will visit, for example, in some of your courses, businesses, so you can apply what you've seen in the classroom and learned about and see them in action. For example, in your service operations course, you go to Legion Stadium to assess how their service operations are measuring up in comparison to what you've learned in the classroom as well. We also want to make sure that you're not only a member of the EMBA family, you're also a member of the Lee Business School family. The Lee Business School offers many different events to really get you involved in the community and the Las Vegas business community as well. So what we try to do is we also invite you to those events. A key event that we invite you to that our students have extremely enjoyed is our Center for Economic Development, Brews and Economic Views, which are quarterly events where people can talk about the Las Vegas landscape and the economy going on. Examples of brews and economic views include topics like how the movie industry as well as sports industry are impacting the Las Vegas economy. Also, as I said earlier, we are a cradle to grave program. So when you are a graduate of our program, it's not that you walk away and you're done with the program. If you have a business, for example, or you want us to bring in students to your prospective business, we do that as well. So we also try to highlight the businesses of our alumni and also bring in alumni as guest speakers to teach the future cohort and also to make sure that all the cohorts are mingling and knowing each other. Because again, even though you're in your cohort of 20 to 25 students when you're in the program, you're also part of a greater EMBA family of over 350 people. And we want to make sure that you know who those individuals are in case you want to use them for networking or to develop your own business ideas, you have this network of individuals who are at, at your disposal. And again, social outings, you know, as part of this program, we try to do things that are fun. You are a UNLV student, so for example, we do go to UNLV football games at Allegiant Stadiums, which is great now because they're much better. When we first started going, they were usually lost, but now they're on the winning side. We have events with our alumni, and we also have events just with your cohort as well. Because as you know, 18 months will go by quickly, but certain times when you finish an econ or stats class, you need a happy hour, we're able to provide those as well. And again, a key part of this program, something we're very proud of is our international seminar. So our international seminar is not just a trip abroad where you go visit businesses and just are a passive observer. Our international seminar really utilizes the skills you've learned in the program and you do a live consulting project with a real company in country while you're there as well. So at the end of the program, you've not only utilized your skill set, but you've helped a company develop and help their needs as well. For example, last year, our students went to Paris as part of the international seminar. We helped three different companies with a business plan and the marketing expansion plan. So we wanna make sure that you not only learn the skill sets, but you apply them in real world settings and have consultants and people you can work with abroad as well. This slide just shows kind of the breadth of the individuals who are in our program as well. We have multiple industries represented. We try to do it, we try very purposefully to make sure that not one sector is overrepresented. So again, we have people who are in hospitality, we have people who are in banking, people who are entrepreneurs, people who are dentists and doctors who are in our program to get that business skill set in the formal setting. So I just wanted to show the diverse nature of the different groups and organizations in our program. So quickly, let's go over the application process. 
total cost for our executive MBA program is about 50,500. But what does that include? That includes all tuition, all fees, as well as graduation fee, all textbooks, all meals. The key question I always get is, does that include the trip? Yes, it does. That includes the airfare as well as single occupancy in when the countries we are traveling to. That is a big thing because two years ago when I became director, there was double occupancy and people did not like that. So we transitioned it to not single occupancy and all of that's included in the course as well. And again, one of our key aspects of our program that we're really proud of is the concierge like service we provide. So all those services are also included in that cost of the program, which is divided into seven semesters. The fee is the same for both domestic and international students. How do you get into our program? So a bachelor's degree is required to join our program. I know the GPA of 2.75 and above. Another key difference between our program and the MBA program is the years of experience. Typically students in our program have seven to 10 years of work experience as well as three to five years of management experience. However, we look at your path okay, holistically. We have some students who early on in their careers, for example, had multiple job opportunities and mergers and acquisitions. So they've only worked for six years, but in those six years, they've done the work of individuals for about 10 years. So again, if you don't meet those numbers, feel free to contact me and my information will be provided at the end of this presentation and we can talk about your individual packet. We also require a letter of corporate sponsorship. What that means is, as you know, this program is Friday, Saturday. So you wanna make sure that your employer is aware that you'll be in class on Fridays every other weekend. One reason for that is in case your employer ever or management ever changes, you have a letter confirming that they knew you were to be in class those 18 months and being out on Friday. We also require a personal level recommendation. That could be someone who works with you, but it could be also someone in the community or someone who knows you really well, who can really attest to your leadership and professional skills for that personal level recommendation. We also require self-evaluation, just two to three pages on why you're interested in joining our executive MBA program. We do not require the GMAT or GRE in our program. And one reason for that is those tests are typically administered for individuals who are about two to three years out of school. And our, again, our students have about 10 years of experience. So we require an executive assessment. That's a 90 minute exam that should be taken at home or you can take in a testing center that just does a baseline of your critical thinking and qualitative and quantitative skills. A common question I get though is what if I have a master's degree already or I have a doctorate degree because I'm an MD. If you have any sort of advanced degree in master's or anything above that, you are away from the executive assessment. Once everything has been received, we then do an interview with each candidate. The interview panel is myself, a faculty member and alumni. It's more of a conversation just to understand why you're interested in this program and for us to be as transparent as possible and for you as an applicant to be able to ask the questions and get the answers you need for an administrator, a faculty member, and a student. You can talk about the executive assessment. That's just a 90 minute exam that we require for our program if you don't have an advanced degree already. We'll provide more information on the slide, but also you will get more information once you contact me. I'll send you a handout that provides you examples on how you can apply for the executive assessment test. So thank you again for joining us today. The application deadline for our 2024 cohort is April 26, and classes begin on June 14, 2024. Thank you for joining today and I hope to see your application.